So it's been revealed that Robert Downey Jr. is Victor Von Doom. Da, da, da. And he'll be the MCU's next big bad. Plus, he's making a shit ton of money doing so. And the nerds are collectively losing their shit. So as a result, I'm going to draw Doom while giving my thoughts. On Twitter. Yeah, I know. Fucking Twitter. The nerds are arguing about everything from Dr. Doom's ethnicity. One twatterer, I'm trademarking that by the way, was upset that Dr. Doom should be played by an actor of Romani descent because I guess the concept of acting was too much for them to handle. I don't know. The other thing people are upset about is they think Downey shouldn't play Doom because he played Iron Man and it's going to confuse general movie going audiences. To be fair, that one makes sense, but all that backlash, that's if anyone thinks Twitter is relevant to anyone not chronically online. And here's the thing, spoiler alert, no, they are not. This feels like a bunch of angry nerds who feel too entitled. It's never that serious. Yeah. So, Robert Downey Jr. as Doom. When it comes to casting Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom, Marvel made a business decision. Fans sometimes forget that at the end of the day, comic book movies are about making money, not, cre not creative fulfillment. The hope would be that there's some overlap between the two of them, making money and being creative. That's the hope anyways. Without the box office success, there's no movie at all. Also, people who care most about these things, the ones that get upset about this casting or nitpick every little detail, you're not the target audience. The reality is you don't make a billion at the box office by catering to ultra fans, AKA the nerds. The casual moviegoer is what Marvel's attention is focused on. And guess what? They love Robert Downey Jr. and will probably pay to go see him in whatever role or character Marvel has in mind for him. Or at least that's what the studio is banking on anyways. We'll see. The minute these movies became super popular, it became more about entertaining the masses and less about the source material. Comic book accuracy doesn't make the kind of money that Marvel wants to make. Plus, the comics will always be there the movies don't change what's in the comic books. They, we, ha we have to look at them as two separate entities because they are. Now, the other discussion is actors get paid too much. This came about because Robert Downey Jr.'s reported salary for the movie was leaked, or it was reported. We don't know how accurate it is. In a perfect world, I would agree with this, but we don't live in a perfect world. The reality is actors get paid that much because A, there's a demand for it. B, they sometimes generate billions and billions of dollars for studios. Where people go wrong is that they try to moralize these massive pay packages because it seems unfair. And in many ways, it is unfair, but, that they, but at the end of the day, it's simple econo economics. They have bargaining power and they make the studio a shit ton of money. Unfortunately, it's not about fair or unfair. If I make my employer billions, you're damn right I would demand a massive payday. And you would too. Doom's heritage. So earlier I alluded to the people on Twitter wanting Doom to be played by a Romani actor. I get the sentiment. Like, we should have more diverse actors in Hollywood overall. But that's where I stop. First and foremost, it's called acting. You get the best actor to play the best roles. Also, like I mentioned, movies are a business. Big name actors carry big name franchise. It's economics. The other thing is people are saying his Romani heritage is central to the character. I would argue it's not. It's part of who he is, absolutely. I don't think anybody is um, arguing that, right? But it's not 
crucial to who the character is. When you think of Doom, him being Romani isn't the top 10 things you think of, right? Evidence. This is evidenced by most of the Doom depictions outside of the comics has no mention or a little mention of him being Romani, but they almost always certainly make note of the fact that he is from Latvia. All in all, this is more Twitter morons throwing a tantrum, acting like they're more important than they actually are. Moving on. So we come to what I like to call fandomism. Modern fandoms to me seems more like taking any opportunity to hate on something that you claim that you love at any chance you get as opposed to just enjoying that thing. We all know this. Just look at Star Wars fans. Nobody hates Star Wars more than Star Wars fans. It's crazy. Rarely are you ever on the internet and you see positive fandom. What I'm talking about is where you see fans talk about and have fun with the things that they are fans of. Just generally enjoying the material, the movies, the musics, whatever it is, and not tearing it down. Don't get me wrong, this absolutely does happen. You will see it from time to time, but it doesn't happen anywhere near as much as you see hateful negative comments on the internet. Again, because on the internet, hate gets you more attention. I'll leave with this. There has never been a better time in history to be a fan, almost any kind of fan. We have more choices and more ways to enjoy these properties that we love than ever before. We are spoiled for choice. So enjoy more, hate less, 